everybody. Welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. That's what that's the show we're doing right now. Psychic Medium Tony Green. Welcome to the show. I am so happy to have you here today. Just turning my phone on um, speaker loud. <laughs> Whatever that is. Okay, today's show is going to be phenomenal, or so I think right now. So I am going to be taking callers and uh, allowing them to ask one question or connect with a loved one. Now, here are the rules. If I call out your area code, please give me your name and the area you're calling from, just your first name and the area you're calling from, and then have one exact question or one exact connection available. Please do not ask me who's around me or tell me about my whole love life or anything along that line. I'm gonna mute you and I'm gonna go to the next caller. There are people who have called in for months waiting for a question to be answered and it's not fair to all the people waiting in my call log if I have to give you a full reading <clears throat> if you seriously if you want to know all the people hanging out around you from the other side book a private session with me I'll be happy to, to tell you who's around you and what they want to say if you have a number of questions about your love life or want to know about the next six months of your love life or, you know, if you just want to ask open ended questions, that's a private session. This is for exact questions. Exact questions. OK, I think it's fair. Yep, I think it's fair. So that's what we're going to go with. Um, also, every week I also record an episode of Create a Life You Love. And during that show, I basically talk about what it takes for you to um, get into that space where you are creating exactly what you want in your world and in your life. And I don't, I don't often talk about. Um, the things I have, what they call manifested, I've prayed into existence. And there's a lot of reasons for that. Um, people don't like when you brag, first of all. They really don't like when people brag. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not bragging. I'm sharing. I'm teaching. <laughs> um, but also, um, it's private. It's, I'm, I'm actually... Outside of the show and outside of my work, I'm an extremely private person, and I am, I'm a bit shy. <laughs> I am, I'm a bit shy, believe it or not. Like, in front of a crowd, I can, I, I can, I'm good, but I am a bit shy, and I am a bit um, private. I'm actually extremely private. There are things, like, I just... Mm, yeah. Eh. So, but manifesting is why we're here. And I like to call it creating and co-creating. So if we are putting out into the universe what we really want, how we really want it, the, the universe, angels, ancestors are going to like bombard us with what we want. But there are a few few things to that. Um key things to that. And I reveal some of those key things in the other show, uh, Create a Life You Love. I am live streaming those shows also. So if you want to um, uh, uh, watch those shows, I've been doing them on Thursday. I haven't locked in an actual day and time for that show. And I apologize for that but I'm working on it. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go to callers. Um, and I just, I want to say, you know, every year right about this time, I try to release a book. And I did, I did create a book this year. I did uh, channel a book this year, but 
it's it's not like my normal books. <laughs> it's not like poems. It is channeled, but it is a little bit more. Um, oh, it's it's different. <laughs> it's different. So I'm not sure I'm going to put it out. Would you read a snarky book from me? It's, it's not snarky. It's just like matter of fact statements. So if I put out a matter of fact statement book, would you read it? That's that's my question. If you want to respond, I'm on YouTube Live. You can respond in the comments. Hey, I'm going to lean in here. Sorry about this. Hey, uh, Maha. I cannot pronounce your name. I'm sorry. Uh, hi, how are you? Hi, Patrick. Hi. Hey, Jackie. How are you? I know Jackie. The other two. Hey, hi. How are you? Thank you for, for tapping in. Okay. Are we ready to get started? Again, if you're watching on YouTube Live and you would like to call in, the number is 845-277-9131. I'll be taking questions on there. Uh, you don't call, you can call me. Ah, <laughs> She looks great. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for the compliments. I appreciate it. Um, hi, Cheryl. Oh, Cheryl. Hey, I know Cheryl too. Okay, so I'm so happy today. I have like, this is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we are going to get started. I am going to go to the first caller. And again, if you want to call in and ask a question, um, I'll be happy to answer it. Cheryl, you text me a question and I'm going to answer it now. Um, yes, white orbs are good orbs. Okay, white orbs are safe and they are good. And uh, the only thing that you need to, like what I would say the most is if you feel something that instantly always go with your feeling when it comes to like, I think something's in my house. I think um, I'm seeing orbs that are pink, blue, green. I'm seeing white orbs. What I'm going to say is this, how does it feel? If it feels good, it is good. Now, sometimes there will be something and all of a sudden we have this intense like, <gasps> what just happened? Or we feel cold or we feel uh, not cold. I'm sorry. We feel um, drained or we start to feel cranky or we feel pain in some spot. That's when you call for a clearing. Okay. That's absolutely. That's the moment you call for a clearing for your home, for you, for your loved ones. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the first caller over here. So here we go. The first caller is five, six, Two. Okay, please go off of speakerphone. Take your phone off of speaker because we can hear the background. And then, hi, how are you? Hello. Okay. So here's another thing. If you are calling in and I call out your area code, please immediately go off of speakerphone and um and ask your question because there's a lot of back background noise with speakerphone. So have your one question ready and here we go to the next caller. And if you're not off of speakerphone, and I'm sorry that some people think I'm being mean if I mute you until you get off of speakerphone and get one question. Well, we're all adults here. Use your big people feelings. That's all I can say, folks. Simple rules. Simple rules. Here we go. 805. Hello. How are you today? Hi. Thanks. This is Donna. How are you? I'm doing so good, Donna. How can I help you today? Good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, I just wanted to know about the finances. Um, I've been praying a lot. I'm doing hypnosis tapes for the subconscious and I want to bring in more abundance and maybe in a win or a windfall or inheritance or something like that. I don't work because I'm on a fixed income from retirement. Okay, so um, 
Okay, so this is awesome. First and foremost, I'm going to tell you to watch Create a Life You Love, especially the last two episodes, because I talk a lot about where your frequency is equals where your income is. And um, if we are afraid to jeopardize our security, I, this isn't in one of the shows yet, but I'll tell you this now. I'm going to, for you, for everybody listening, um, re listening, I'm going to tell you this now. If you are afraid to bring in more money because it will jeopardize your income, your security, you will not be able to produce that. So here's here's something I often say to people, and they, they it, it helps it click so quickly for them. People who are on a, um, let's just say, disability social security, they will never um, get healthy because that illness is related to their stability and financial security, okay? So it goes the same with everything. So if we if we have this and we're afraid of losing what we consider our security, our safety, we will not allow ourselves to, to jeopardize what we feel is safe and secure when we should be free flying out there. Free, free, free flying, free flying, free flying in this world, knowing there's so freaking much abundance out there. There is so freaking much money. I mean, they print it every day. The government gives it away like we don't have to pay it back. Okay, folks, we do have to pay it back. If we don't, our children and our grandchildren do. Okay, beyond that, um, I just, I think it's funny when they channel through me and they say things and then I'm like, oh my goodness, did you just really say that? Yep, they just really said that. Okay, so Donna, here's what I'm going to do for you, everybody listening, everybody re-listening. I'm going to do a money clearing. We haven't done a wealth. I'm going to go straight up wealth clearing. How do you feel about that, Donna? Great. Yeah, super. Awesome. Yeah. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say our good luck switches are turned on. I get a no, so we're going to clear that. Oh, and that hits me. You know, you guys, when I'm clearing your energy, if you can feel it, for those of you on YouTube Live, if you can feel this clearing, just type in a yes and let me know you can feel it. Because every time I clear, oh, I can feel I can feel it. And I know that many people have emailed me afterwards and said, yeah, I felt that. So, and I get a little um, like tightness in my head too. So if you're feeling things as I clear, know it's that. The second thing I'm going to do, and people do not realize this, the amount of money you bring in, the amount of money you have in your account at any given time is your comfort zone. It's your comfort zone. So let's get a bigger, better comfort zone. My financial comfort zone is getting bigger, uh, is getting, my financial comfort zone raises every day. I get a no on that, so we're gonna clear that. And you know, that one hit me in the face, folks. Cheryl, thank you for that. Yes, 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 yes. Love you, girl. Mwah. Okay, so. We are going to clear these two things. Now, you want a windfall. Who else wants a windfall? Everybody wants a windfall. Everybody wants to bring in that big amount of money. And what's a large amount of money to you? And what's a large amount of money to me? And what's a large amount of money to, uh, let me see who else is on here. Champagne. Hey, girl, what's up? Um, what's a large amount of money to champagne or um Whomever else is listening right now is completely different. Some people think 10,000 is a lot of money, where other people think 100 million is a lot of money. It all depends on where you are, and there's no wrong large amount of money windfall. Hey, Jackie, you feel it too? And I'm just going to call you M. M, I'm so happy you feel it too. We're all feeling this. Ooh, loving it. Let's do we get a windfall. We're going to get a windfall. We're not going to say how. We're not going to say how much. Um, everybody listening, re-listening is in alignment for a windfall. I get a no, so I'm going to clear that to yes. Because you know what? I don't care what anybody says. Money is huge in our world. It's just as huge as air and food and water. We need it to survive. And we have to stop thinking about money as 
something that we feel guilty about, that if we get it, we have to tie back. If you want to give, give, okay? But don't give because it's what you're supposed to do. Everything you do should come from an open, happy heart with feeling. You have to feel it, okay? Donna, that brings me to my next thing. Donna, you just might, <laughs> I don't want to say this. You just might be my whole show, but you won't be. Callers, hold on. 415, you're next. Don't go anyplace. And 857, you're after 415. So don't go anywhere, folks, because I am I am going to take more callers today. So um, we've, every, you know, we've been, we've been trained for, since I don't know when, that if you get money, you have to give money. No. That's like saying if you get food, you have to give food. If you get air, you have to give air. Everybody has the same ability to create money. Don't give somebody money just because you got money. Because guess what? They're going to be back, hands open. Oh, mister, can you please help me again? I'm out already. No, teach them how you created your money. Teach them how you brought it in so they can go and do the same. And maybe that's the tithing that they're talking about. I don't know. But if you receive money and you want to, it's in your heart to give, by all means, give. But teach at the same time. Say, listen, this is how I brought my money in, whether it's working, praying, windfalls, whatever it is, okay? So we have to change our beliefs about money. And yes, in my very first show or second Create a Life, I think I talked about uh, what we believe we deserve. It's not what we want that we get. We get what we believe we deserve. So every morning, wake up and say this mantra, I deserve better. I deserve more. I deserve better. It's not arrogant. It's 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 truth. Could you imagine constricting your breath? Well, the whole world is right now. That's another story. Could you imagine not taking deep breaths because you felt like you weren't worthy of it or you were taking somebody else's breath? No. Money is the same thing. Money is an energy. It's just, it, it, When we break it down, it's just a piece of paper. All this fuss over a piece of paper. Come on, folks. When you break it down like that, you really start to go, oh, yeah, it's just paper, right? It's just, it's just something we carry. And most of us don't even touch money anymore. So we have to change our beliefs and what we believe we deserve about money. And we have to let go of those patterns from our childhood that we have just enough. Oh, I have just enough money. I just have just enough money. No, there's so much money. There's so much money. Change that. We're living our parents' beliefs, who were living their grandparents' beliefs, who most of them went through the Great Depression. So we're still living that Great Depression belief system. It's time to let that go and go into that prosperity. Like, it's okay to be wealthy, no matter what you do with that wealth. Everyone I know, every single one of my clients, every single person I meet, they're good people. And if they have money, they're going to help. So don't don't worry even or think even about that end of it. Just be comfortable with large amounts of money for yourself. Okay, Donna, I hope this was helpful. I do want to hear your results. I do want to know what comes in for you. And I'm going to do it one more time, folks, because I love this one for me as much as I love it for you. Oh, we have big windfalls coming in. I'm still getting a no on that. So we're going to clear that to a yes. Our good luck switches are turned on. I get a yes on that. Okay, good. We are comfortable with large amounts of money. I get a no for some of us, so we're going to clear that. There we go. Perfect. I'm going to go to the very next caller. So 415, please go off of speakerphone and have your question and or connection ready. Hello, 415. How are you today? Hello, I'm great. Excellent. What's your name? Where are you calling from? This is Anne in California. Hey, Anne, how can I help you? I would like to um, say to my um, aunt Nan, 
who's passed a happy birthday and any message mm -hmm. from her. Yeah. Okay. She had like the sweetest soul, but she was very, um, she could be very verbose if she needed to. Uh, she wouldn't. Uh, yeah, I see. Actually, and I'm going to tell you something. I see two women here. One of them was a little bit more timid uh -huh. and slender. The And the uh, one woman is slender. Mm -hmm. The other woman is a little bit fuller. And they're like side by side, like two peas in a pod. And one of them oh, was I, a little bit yeah. more verbose. And the other one was a little bit more timid. Yeah. And they both want to say, um, they both want to say hi. They love you. They're watching out for you. But, um, and, and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the birthday wishes. And, um, and, and the, they want you to know, okay, so this is one thing they really want you to know. Um, I, and I, I'm, I'm not getting like just what I'm getting is move forward, move forward, move forward, move forward, move forward. So if there's something <laughs> that you're stuck on or stuck making a decision on, I'm going to, I'm going to do a clearing for you, for everybody listening, for everybody re-listening. We are, um, we are stuck. I get a yes. We're going to clear that. We're able to make clear decisions for our highest good. I get a no. That might just be me, folks. Okay. <laughs> Seriously, when I have to make a decision, it's like two months later. Didn't that choice go away yet? Why do I still have to make this decision? <laughs> so we're going to clear both of those. And they're saying, um, whatever this decision is, seriously, you cannot go wrong. Um, it's like choosing... You know, uh, uh, it, you you're just you got to move forward. You've got to make a choice. You've got to get get on that horse, smack its butt, because this also airs on WSCS. Uh -huh. <laughs> smack its booty and take <laughs> off. Stop uh -huh. procrastinating. The only okay and okay. So back to the law of attraction. Um, when we don't bring when we don't make a decision, um are creating halts and nothing comes to us right because we're just stuck we can't we can't make that choice so the thing i'm getting for you is once you make the choice the the world heaven and earth will rearrange everything to fall into place to make it work out the best for you but they do that for everyone it's not exclusive to you if that makes sense to you so yeah get on your horse <laughs> and ride because it's going to be a good ride. It might be bumpy at times, but it's going to be good. They want you to know that they love you deeply. They care about you. And they're showing me this. Um, I personally want to call it a lily. They're calling it an orchid. But I don't, oh. I don't always know the difference between flowers. I just know they're beautiful. I love it. It would be orchid, my favorite. Okay. Orchid's my favorite. I, see, when they show this to me, I am seeing it, it looks something like, to me, I would go, oh, that looks like a lily, but it is not because they're like, no, orchid. So I'm happy that they corrected <laughs> me. They're saying um, that, that whenever you see or receive orchids, that is their one one of their signs or symbols to you. That's where they were going with the whole flower thing. Um, they uh, also want you to know that you are going to have a gift coming in next month. It could be this month into next month, but there's a gift coming in unexpected. Please keep in mind this might may, might not be um, um, a gift of um, a monetary gift. It could be a, a, an actual like product, like an actual thing. But they're uh -huh. saying that it is probably most likely. Oh, oh, you are in alignment for a spiritual awakening. I love that. Oh, my goodness. I so love that. So you are going to have a. Some of your gifts are going to get a little bit stronger is the best way I can put that. 
Okay, love? Great. Excellent. I hope this, yeah. I hope this was helpful. I hope you know who both of these women are. They're saying peas in a pod, peas yeah. in a pod, and that they love you so much. And my mom. Yeah, okay. So there we go. Definitely. I'm so happy she was able to come through. They want you to know they're always together, and they sit on your right and left shoulder, and yeah. you know which one of them is the bad oh. influence oh. they're saying. <laughs> I love that. Like, very much. You're so welcome. Have an amazing week. Until next time.